creating our lab environment or our own special little place to hack. What we're going to do here is we're going to actually download a program called VirtualBox. We're going to go to virtualbox.org and we're going to download the latest version. VirtualBox is a virtualization software. It allows us to put multiple pieces of operating systems on a single piece of physical hardware. Now, some people ask, why do we use virtual machines? Well, one of the reasons we're going to use virtual machines in this environment is because we want to make sure that we're not doing any attacking or cracking on a live network. The way laws work, in the United States, hacking is considered illegal as well as many other countries. Now, if you own the network or you have permission of the network owner in writing, you can then hack those networks legally. In this case, since we're building our own network, we'll have the legal rights to hack that network. And therefore, we don't have the police knocking at our door. So for my penetration testing lab, I actually use a MacBook Pro. This allows me to have something that's portable that I can carry with me when I go teach classes, but it also has enough power to do what I'm gonna to wanna to do. It'll allow me to run four, five, or six different operating systems at once. We can run things like Windows, Linux, Unix, or even Mac OS X on top of these virtual machines. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to virtualbox.org. At virtualbox.org, we're gonna download the latest version. As of today, that's version 5.1. Once you click on the download button, you'll see where the operating systems are listed. You, if you have Windows, click on that. I have Mac, so I'm gonna choose OS X, and if you have Linux, click on that one. Now, at some points during this video and other videos in this course, you're gonna notice that time sort of fast forwards on you. The reason is I don't want you to have to sit there and wait while my system downloads or my system processes something. So I'm gonna compress those by going two or three or four times as fast. If you find that your system hasn't caught up to that, that's fine, just hit pause, wait for your system to catch up, and then you can restart the video at that point. Once you've downloaded the installer, you're gonna go ahead and run through the installation program. It's as simple as hitting continue and install as we work our way through it. Now at the end of the installation, it's asking if you wanna remove the installation file, which is fine because you don't need the installer anymore, you've already installed it to your system. So now that we have VirtualBox installed as our virtual sandbox for our hacking efforts, we need to move on to the installation of an attack platform. In our case, that's going to be Kali Linux.